Hey, welcome everyone to the yeah, last episode of the series of the Daily Elastic Vibe with a focus on Kibana. So today is finished. Um, we would like to talk to you about the uh, Kibana Upgrade Assistant, which is a small little tool helping you to basically yeah go through major version upgrades and telling you what to do. And I have an Elasticsearch 7x cluster up and running here. And if we go to Stack Management and the Upgrade Assistant at the bottom, you see that there's nothing there yet. And that has a reason. Uh, the reason is that the Elasticsearch 8.0 release is not released yet. It would only make sense once we have an alpha version out that you can basically test how compatible is my current setup with the Elasticsearch 7 version that I maintain. However, a fair share of you might still run Elasticsearch 6. So we can just take a look at the Elasticsearch 6 um, upgrade assistant and also st uh, talk about what has changed for the future version, because there are a few things uh, that definitely have changed. So you might recognize this UI. Um, if we go to management and to the 7.0 upgrade assistant, it's right here. Uh, but before we go there and its um, messages, let's take a look of what we did in order to ease your upgrade. And one of the things we added were so-called deprecation messages. And the deprecation mes messages meant that we basically create a log file that contains information of what will change in the future. So if I delete an index and create it again, you will see error messages in the Kibana DevTools response. This is basically an HTTP response header, that, or three of them, that tells you there's an upcoming deprecation and you should do something about it. Uh, we will also write this to a log file, so you could just take a look at the log file. And on top of that, you can also take a look at these kind of things in the cloud logs. So this is my Elasticsearch 6.6 deployment. You could go to logs and metrics, search over here, and you will see here that there is a deprecation message, which is similar to the one that we just saw. So coming back here, the idea of those deprecation messages is that you can change things in your existing installation. So for this example, this would be 6.8. And this will basically allow you to um, get everything up and running and ready before you upgrade to 7, once you have all of these mes messages removed. So for example, there's a message about the types removal. Elasticsearch 7 doesn't know the notion of types anymore. And we could just set this include type name equals false param parameter as this deprecation message goes away. And we also know that this basically works with Elasticsearch 7. We can go one step further and also set the number of shards explicitly. This is one of the biggest changes in Elasticsearch 7 from a deprecation perspective, that the default number of shards now is one instead of five. And you see that this message just vanishes as well. Lastly, if you would like to get rid of the date formats, um, there was a major change in the internal parsing of dates by getting rid of an old library and using the library built into the JDK. And we can just set this temporary format and know that this will also work on Elasticsearch 7. So let's delete this index one more time. Let's again create it with deprecation messages. We will get there in a second why. Um, and also keep in mind that deprecation messages can happen at several different positions. They can happen as part of an index creation. They could also happen as part of a query. They could also happen as part of an index operation. So they can basically happen at many different stages. Um, they could also happen as part of your configuration. You see here that I'm setting a cluster setting. And this setting is not supposed to be used anymore because we want you to store passwords in the key store. And if the last setting that I'm setting here is the so-called persistent setting is to uh, basically block on read and write operations if no master is available. OK, so what can we do next? We can go back to our upgrade assistant and take a look on how compatible our installation basically is. And we can already see here that there is one issue for the cluster. There's one issue for the index. And what this upgrade assistant is basically doing is it's checking your configuration. So it's checking your cluster configuration, your node configuration. It's going through all of the index mappings to see if there are any settings that are probably not compatible. Um, we basically have a ton of different checks. For example, there are also checks for machine learning. And this upgrade assistant, the first step that is basically done there is telling you which setting will not be available anymore. 
And you will see here the master block setting that I just said will be renamed in Elasticsearch 7. The main reason for this is that Elasticsearch 7 got a major overhaul of the internal consensus algorithm and a couple of settings were not needed anymore or were changed. And so we basically tell you as a user, look, please unset the setting and set the following setting when you upgrade to Elasticsearch 7. So you can basically already prepare your configuration files. So similar things we uh, done with the index, basically for each index that is within the system, the mapping is passed, the setting is passed. Maybe there are settings that are not needed anymore or that are deprecated. We go back here to our time-based setting uh, and take a look over there. And that is the, the basic yeah, check or a list of checks over here. Um, we do have the overview. There's also now mechanisms in the in the indices tab that allows you to re-index Elasticsearch internal indices. For example, the one index where a watcher is storing its watches or a machine learning is storing its state. Um, so that this one gets basically updated to a non-deprecated mapping. And all of this is part of the assistance. You assistant, you basically just have to click a re-index button and that about it. Um, however, I will quickly talk about the future of the upgrade assistant, which you don't see over here yet. Uh, the reason is that, again, we're missing the release. And one of the features in the future is that the upgrade assistant will not only be for Elasticsearch, because right now, if we go back to our dev tools, um, there's a dedicated API in Elasticsearch that basically lists all of these index node level settings or cluster settings or machine learning settings at the bottom. Um, that is nice, but we have to see this from a stack perspective. And in future, every component of the stack will be able to index warnings into a dedicated data stream, so time-based index, and we can show those warnings. So even if it's just a single request, you will still be aware that somewhere within your setup, uh, there will be a deprecated setting in the future and you have to take care of this deprecated setting before you can upgrade all parts of your stack. So this will apply for Logstash, this will apply for Beats, for the agent, and for Kibana as well. And that should really ease and simplify your whole upgrade experience, just because you will see on basically yeah, one single view what kind of components require changes before you can safely upgrade them. Yeah, that was our today's journey into the uh, upgrade assistance. You see that even though there's lots of work that has been done already on the um, assistant for version seven, there will be much more work invested in the whole experience around upgrading the Elastic Stack to version eight. And yeah, that's that. Um, as already mentioned, this is our last series um, or our last episode of the series. So um, if you have any feedback, any ideas, feel free to contact us. Um, also, you can watch all of those on the YouTube playlist. There's a dedicated daily Elastic Bytes playlist that also contains the first season. So take a look at that one. If you have ideas like what you would like to see covered next after a short, uh, short summer break, give us a, men a mention as well, and we will take a look. That's it. Have a great evening.